exponents and powers dealing with negative exponents let's now solve this a cube divided by a raised to 5 first we solve this using this law of exponent a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n that is a cube divided by a raised to 5 is equal to a raised to 3 minus 5, which is equal to a raised to minus 2. What is this? We have never seen a negative number before. Is it possible? Let's solve this using this law of exponent. a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m divided by a raised to n. That is, a cube divided by a raised to 5 is equal to a cube upon a raised to 5. We write this in multiplication form and we get 3 times a in multiplication divided by 5 times a in multiplication. We cancel out the a's from top and bottom and we get 1 upon a raised to 2. Now, you can see that we are doing the division using two different laws and we get two different answers where LHS is the same. So, we can say that a raised to minus 2 is equal to 1 upon a raised to 2. Let's now solve this. 7 square divided by 7 raised to 6. First, we solve this using this law of exponent. a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. That is, 7 square divided by 7 raised to 6, which is equal to 7 raised to 2 minus 6, which is equal to 7 raised to minus 4. Now we solve this using this law of exponent. a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m upon a raised to n. That is, 7 square divided by 7 raised to 6 is equal to 7 square upon 7 raised to 6. We write this in multiplication form and we get 7 into 7 divided by 7 into 7 into 7 into 7 into 7 into 7. We cancel out the 7 and 7 and we get 1 upon 7 raised to 4. Now you can see that we are doing the division using two different laws and we get two different answers where LHS is same. So, we can say that 7 raised to minus 4 is equal to 1 upon 7 raised to 4. Let's now solve this. 3 raised to 5 divided by 3 raised to 8. First, we solve this using this law of exponent. a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. That is, 3 raised to 5 divided by 3 raised to 8 is equal to 3 raised to 5 minus 8 which is equal to 3 raised to minus 3. Now we solve this using this law of exponent. a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m divided by a raised to n. That is, 3 raised to 5 divided by 3 raised to 8 is equal to 3 raised to 5 upon 3 raised to 8. We write this in multiplication form and we get 5 times 3 in multiplication divided by 8 times 3 in multiplication. We cancel out the 3's from top and bottom and we get 1 upon 3 raised to 3. Now, you can see that we are doing the division using two different laws and we get two different answers where LHS is same. So, we can say that 3 raised to minus 3 is equal to 1 upon 3 raised to 3. Let us write the formula to convert the negative index to positive 1. a raised to minus m is equal to 1 upon a raised to m, where a is any non-zero integer, m is a negative exponent. Change the negative exponent to positive. 7 raised to minus 5 is equal to 1 upon 7 raised to 5. 3 raised to minus 2 is equal to 1 upon 3 square. 1 upon 2 raised to minus 2 is equal to 2 squared.
1 upon 5 raised to minus 4 is equal to 5 raised to 4. What happens if we multiply a raised to 5 by a raised to minus 5? a raised to 5 into a raised to minus 5 is equal to a raised to 5 into 1 upon a raised to 5 which is equal to 1. So whenever you get multiplication 1, those two terms are multiplicative inverse of each other. Here we can say that a raised to minus 5 is the multiplicative inverse of a raised to 5. In the same way, a raised to 5 is the multiplicative inverse of a raised to minus 5. All the laws of exponents that we have studied work for negative exponents too. a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. a raised to m whole bracket raised to n is equal to a raised to m into n. a raised to m into b raised to m is equal to a b into brackets whole raised to m. a raised to m divided by b raised to m is equal to a upon b whole raised to m. a raised to 0 is equal to 1, where a is the base and it is a non-zero integer. m and n are the exponents and are integers. We already know how to deal with positive exponents. Let us try to solve this. 10 raised to 4 into 10 raised to 6. Now you can see that the base is the same. So we will just add the exponents. So it will look like this. 10 raised to 4 plus 6 which is equal to 10 raised to 10. Now let's work with negative exponents. 20 raised to minus 6 into 20 raised to 8 is equal to 20 raised to minus 6 plus 8 which is equal to 20 raised to 2. 5 raised to minus 3 into 5 raised to minus 3 is equal to 5 raised to minus 3 plus minus 3 which is equal to 5 raised to minus 3 minus 3 which is equal to 5 raised to minus 6. Let's try this one. 20 raised to 8 divided by 20 raised to minus 3. Now you can see that the base is the same. So we will just subtract the exponents. So it will look like this. 20 raised to 8 minus into the bracket minus 3 which is equal to 20 raised to 8 plus 3. So it becomes 20 raised to 11. Let's try this one. 23 raised to minus 6 whole raised to minus 3. So we just multiply the exponents. So it looks like this. 23 raised to minus 6 into minus 3 which is equal to 23 raised to 18 because negative into negative becomes positive. Simplify the following. 2 cube divided by 2 raised to 4 whole raised to 5 into 2 raised to minus 6. a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n which is equal to 2 raised to 3 minus 4 whole raised to 5 into 2 raised to minus 6 which is equal to 2 raised to minus 1 whole raised to 5 into 2 raised to minus 6. a raised to m whole raised to n is equal to a raised to m into n which is equal to 2 raised to minus 5 into 2 raised to minus 6 since now applying a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n we get 2 raised to minus 5 plus minus 6 which is equal to 2 raised to minus 11 which is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to 11. Simplify the following. 7 raised to minus 3 whole raised to minus 2 divided by 7 raised to minus 6. Applying a raised to m whole raised to n is equal to a raised to m into n we get 7 raised to minus 3 into minus 2 divided by 7 raised to minus 6 which is equal to 7 raised to 6 divided by 7 raised to minus 6. Applying a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n we get 7 raised to 6 minus minus 6 which is equal to 
7 raised to 6 plus 6, which is equal to 7 raised to 12. Find the value of x. 7 raised to 2x plus 1 divided by 49 is equal to 7 raised to 3. Therefore, 7 raised to 2x plus 1 divided by 7 raised to 2 is equal to 7 raised to 3. Therefore, 7 raised to 2x plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 7 raised to 3. On both sides, base is the same. So, we can equate exponents directly. So, 2x plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, 2x minus 1 is equal to 3. So, 2x is equal to 3 plus 1. So, 2x is equal to 4. By dividing both sides by 2, we get x is equal to 2. So far, we have seen all these operations with integers. They also work with rational numbers. Let's simplify examples with rational numbers. Simplify the following. 5 raised to 2 upon 3 into 5 raised to 1 upon 2 is equal to 5 raised to 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 2. Now, make denominator same by finding LCD. Therefore, the expression is equal to 5 raised to 2 into 2 upon 3 into 2 plus 1 into 3 upon 2 into 3, which is equal to 5 raised to 4 plus 3 upon 6, which is equal to 5 raised to 7 upon 6. Simplify the following. 5 upon 7 raised to minus 1 upon 2 into 5 upon 7 raised to minus 3 upon 4. Base is the same, so we can add the exponents. Therefore, we get 5 upon 7 raised to minus 1 upon 2 plus minus 3 upon 4, which is equal to 5 upon 7 raised to minus 1 upon 2 minus 3 upon 4, which is equal to 5 upon 7 raised to minus 1 into 2 upon 2 into 2 minus 3 upon 4, which is equal to 5 upon 7 raised to minus 2 minus 3 upon 4, which is equal to 5 upon 7 raised to minus 5 upon 4, which is equal to 7 upon 5 raised to 5 upon 4. Simplify the following. Minus 1 upon 4 raised to 4 upon 5 divided by minus 1 upon 2 raised to 4 upon 5, which is equal to Minus 1 upon 4 divided by minus 1 upon 2 whole raised to 4 upon 5, which is equal to minus 1 upon 4 into minus 2 upon 1 whole raised to 4 upon 5, which is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to 4 upon 5. Simplify the following. 3 upon 7 raised to minus 4 upon 5 divided by 3 upon 7 raised to 1 upon 2 which is equal to 3 upon 7 raised to minus 4 upon 5 minus 1 upon 2, which is equal to 3 upon 7 raised to minus 4 into 2 upon 5 into 2 minus 1 into 5 upon 2 into 5, which is equal to 3 upon 7 raised to minus 8 minus 5 upon 10, which is equal to 3 upon 7 raised to minus 13 upon 10. Show that a raised to l upon a raised to m whole raised to l plus m into a raised to m upon a raised to n whole raised to m plus n into a raised to n upon a raised to l whole raised to n plus n is equal to 1. LHS is equal to a raised to l upon a raised to m whole raised to l plus m into a raised to m upon a raised to n whole raised to m plus n into a raised to n upon a raised to l whole raised to n plus l, which is equal to a raised to l into l plus m into brackets upon a raised to m into l plus m into brackets multiplied by a raised to m into m plus n into brackets upon a raised to n into m plus n into brackets 
into a raised to n into n plus l into brackets upon a raised to l into n plus l into brackets, which is equal to a raised to l square plus l m divided by a raised to l m plus m square into a raised to m square plus m n upon a raised to n m plus n square into a raised to n square plus n l upon a raised to l n plus l square, which is equal to a raised to l square into a raised to l m upon a raised to l m into a raised to m square into a raised to m square into a raised to m n upon a raised to n m into a raised to n square into a raised to n square into a raised to n l upon a raised to l n into a raised to l square. By cancelling out the common terms, we get LHS is equal to one. That is, LHS is equal to RHS. Hence, proved. Did you understand the different ways to deal with negative exponents? Yes. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.